Hey, what's happening, YouTubers? We're back with another Marvel Legends collection tour. I know I just posted one back in August, but I've picked up a lot more Marvel Legends since then, so the shelves have been updated, so have the displays, so you might notice a few new things. But I thought it'd also be cool to kind of showcase these figures in my shelves before I actually pick up any new figures of 2022, because we have a slate of a bunch of Marvel Legends coming out this year. But without further ado, y'all, let's go and get started with the tour. All right, I'm going to start it off like I did last time with the same shelf. It's the Jim Lee X-Men shelf, and the only one missing is Morph. And since Hasbro's teased those VHS cel-shaded X-Men animated series figures, I'm sure we're going to get a Morph sometime this year or next. And of course, Jeffrey the Land Shark is still on here. All right, next shelf we're going to take a look at is my comic book Marvel Legends. So it's kind of still the same as it was last time. You might notice some new additions like the AOA Rogue and Magneto and the Ironheart Riri Williams. Now we're going to take a look at my McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse display. And some new additions include that power suit, Lex Luthor in the back, and the uh, Comedian Joker, which I recently just did an unboxing for for McFarlane Toys Tuesday. If you haven't checked it out yet, feel free to check it out on my channel. And then this shelf is essentially my uh, everything else display. So there's no Marvel Legends on here. It's mainly just miscellaneous, so I have my Dragon Ball Z, my uh, bo the boys from NECA, and then we also have my My Hero Academia figures right there. And then the Evelyn, which I reviewed last year. It's a great figure in terms of tooling and engineering. Same thing goes for this Lynx figure from Fortnite. And then the Power Rangers team, probably the only one I'm going to complete, is almost complete. I have the Pink Ranger coming in soon from Amazon. So once I get her in, the last one to get is Zane the Silver Ranger. All right, now we're gonna jump into my villains display, which is, this is one of the new additions or something new I've done in my collection. So I've essentially put the villains all on this display right here. So I just added the Maestro recently and High Evolutionary and Arcade. As well as the Psycho Man. Man, that figure was a great figure. It's all pinless too. Same thing goes for Shriek. And then I recently completed the Armadillo figure. And along in that wave also came Morlin. So we got Thanos and then Kang at the forefront. And then I've also, as you can see, bought some more hand ninjas. So I have about three sets of stilt man legs on there right now. And then this display here is kind of the same. Just added Spawn and Superman, the Rebirth one on here. And then I did try and switch out the rubber cape that was on this one and try to use soft goods one but I think it kind of failed. I don't know, let me know what you all think. And then if we move across over here, we'll see the Hall of Armor. And I don't think any new figures came in here from last time. I think it's all about the same. And then the light I have coming down on the Hall of Armor is from one of my strobe lights. And just to showcase it without the flash on the camera. It's a pretty simple hack. You just put the strobe light on top and that's it. Something I learned from uh, MCU Legends Collector on Instagram, so shout outs to him. And then down here, it's still pretty much the same. Still have the Stan the Man, Stan Lee uh, display right here with a couple of Mego figures. And then nothing really changed here with Squirrel Girl, uh, Gwenpool, and King Thanos. All right, next we're going to take a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse DCEU display, or the DC Movie figures. Uh, so we have the Suicide Squad right there, and the Justice League with the two other... I guess variants or exclusives over there. And the throne that I'm using for Darkseid is the one that came with the blue power suit Lex Luthor figure. And of course we have the Todd Father at the front. And shout out to the Todd Father for winning two uh, ACB award uh, a couple weekends ago on the podcast or Figgy Awards, whatever they're calling it. Okay, and as you all know, MCU is essentially my bread and butter when it comes to my collection. So I'm gonna start with this shelf first because not much was added since the last time I did the collection video. Uh, I did add King T'Chaka in the back over there, and I know I just got that Infinity War cat from Walmart, and then I also picked up the War Machine right there from Toshi Station, and I also picked up the Wasp figure as well, and I picked up the Scarlet Witch figure, which I used to have, but I sold, but I decided to pick up another one again. And in terms of the villains, I think the only thing that was new since last time you saw this was probably Vulture. And I know I've had people tell me in the comments before, and I've listened to have like displays or risers, so figures aren't hiding in the back. I am working on that. It's just, it takes some time, y'all. All right, now we're gonna go to the X-Men shelf or the X-Men movie universe or 
the non-MCU figures. But I guess I think everything's MCU now because everything's the multiverse or whatever. But uh, anyways, the only two figures added was this Toy Biz Cyclops and that Marvel Legends Jean Grey from the dark days of Hasbro Marvel Legends. Yikes. <laughs> All right, and this display is essentially the Disney Plus display slash Marvel series display. Um, since my last collection video, I didn't have these, so I just added these collection to the collection, the What If Wave, and then that Hydra Stomper. And then I did put the Defenders on here, and I just got that Danny Rand figure for a ridiculous price. I think that might have been the previous collection video, I don't remember, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and then I did add Sylvie and Mo Mobius, let's say Morbius, and then also Miss Minutes, which came with a Funko Pop of Ravona. And the next shelf we're going to take a look at is the Eternal shelf. And I know for sure that these weren't in the collection video last time. So all this was just recently acquired in the fall when these came out. And in my opinion, these are probably the best, like, aesthetically looking figures that Hasbro's ever produced in terms of the MCU. With, like, the metallic paint finish and the face scans. They just look nice overall. And I know a lot of people didn't like them, but for me personally, I think they're pretty cool. And then... I'm using the Funko Pop Arisham as a stand-in because I don't think they're ever going to give us one. If they did, I hope they'd be like the same skill as Surtur. And then we see Crow in the back right there. And this is a new shelf I built a couple months back to fit figures that couldn't fit on the uh, other display. But basically I have the big four right here with Worthy Cap, Endgame Thor, Endgame Iron Man, and then Avengers 1 Hulk. It's the Figma series. Shout out to Just J Hernandez for that one. And then you got Deadpool, and check this out. It's a custom kit bash I did of Shang-Chi. Shoutouts to Legends for All on Instagram for giving me the idea of how to do the kit bash where he's got the 10 rings. And then you see my awesome Tesla right here. And then if we look over here, this is a custom kit bash I did of the Lando figure. It's basically Donald Glover as an adult Miles Morales. So I really like the way this came out. And the reason why this is here is because I just finished completing the M'Baku Build-A-Figure and I just recently acquired that Black Panther figure too. And then I have Rey here in the back. For a reason, I had this idea for a toy shot for having her as like Mistress Death in the MCU. I'm working on it right now. I'm not sure how I'm going to set it up, but look forward to that on my Instagram. Now if we move one shelf down, this essentially has turned into my Spider-Verse display. So we have the end of the Spider-Verse figures right here couple diamond select figures in the back of Andrew and uh, Tom Holland and Doctor Strange. And then the basic figures, Infinity War, uh, Iron Spider. Then a couple of black and gold suit Spider-Man figures. I did do a comparison of the Marvel Legends and Diamond Select one. Feel free to check it out on my channel. And we got the movie Venom in the back. Then we have an MJ kit bashed with the, I think it was a Claire Temple figure. And then we have Frank Castle and J. Jonah Jameson back there. And then I just recently kitbashed the Mary Jane Watson and Moira McTaggart figure. I think it came out pretty well. So we got MJ and Gwen Stacy. And then we have Felicia Hardy's Black Cat right there too. And then I recently picked up the Miguel O'Hara Spider-Man 2099, also at Tashi Station. So shout out to them. Along with Webman and Negative Zone Spider-Man. And then of course we have the Retro Spider-Man. And at some point, I'm hoping this year that Hasbro releases another one that's completely pinless, so we don't have that issue right there. And going next shelf down, this is a work in progress, y'all. So we have the Mezco cable standing on top of a bunch of Pokemon lunchbox tins right here. <laughs> and then this is an interesting display. So you have a Marvel Legend, a Diamond Select, and a Mezco. So we have the Marvel Legends Grandmaster, the Diamond Select Gladiator Hulk, and then the Mezco Thor Ragnarok. So that is my collection update, YouTubers. Uh, I do have a lot of content I'm working on for the channel. And I thought in 2022, I wanna have more original content, not just doing unboxing videos on current products. I'm also doing retro reviews. And here's a sneak peek of one. I just picked up recently this Toy Biz Morph figure. So yeah, look for that review to come relatively soon on the channel. But yeah, thanks for watching, YouTubers. And like always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead, subscribe. Thanks for watching.